Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb, you're you, this is XCOM Terror from the Deep. And we're still hunting for that last bloody alien. I, I mean, I think we found him now. So now it's just a matter of trying to kill him. I'm gonna take your grenade into the hand. And apparently priming it was safe, but we can't do that until next turn anyway, so... Just gonna wait, gonna wait. I'm not going to move out and check on the alien. He's probably right there, but... Hmm. Okay, now we're going to check. First, make it, a, make it a save. He's still right there. He's not moving. I want to see if I can provoke him to move. Grab the grenade, zero turns. Please tell me you can throw it. Like... Right there. Well, it landed where I wanted it to land. Um... Try to move away, Boris. I made a mistake there, didn't I? I should have primed it for one turn. Because then it would have blown up at the start of... Uh, my turn. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hide now. Okay, let's see how this works. Are you serious? Even a grenade wasn't enough to destroy the wall. Okay, so... I can't provoke that alien to move at all, can I? Well, that sucks. <laughs> so I can't blow up the walls. I can't get past the soldier guy down there. I can't shoot the walls. If a grenade can't blow them up, I don't think I have anything in my arsenal to get through here. Gunfire can't ruin the walls. Yeah, those bunkers are pretty safe. So, I don't see any other way to get through this guy, this one, other than, you know, night, night. Unfortunately, that that counts as friendly fire kill. I'm fairly certain. But uh, you know, in our minds, we didn't kill him. Right? It was him deciding not to move. You're gonna see the alien. I just wanna see if the alien will actually return fire. Or something. No. They're just gonna stay right there. And it is, it is a deep one. Stupid deep one. Now we block. Oh, we can destroy the wall. Why didn't that happen earlier? Well, I'm fairly certain that counted as a kill. Um, let's test. Because we had one other that blew up to our shot with the barrels over there. I just want to see if it says two XCOM kills or one kill. I'm gonna reload and say that, soldier boy, but... Uh, yeah, it counted as my kill. I stunned him, but it counted as a kill. Which kind of sucks. I don't want that, that on my record, so... Time travel time. So even though we didn't actually kill him, the game counted as, as a kill. It's kind of sucky. Anyways, that means you're just gonna shoot like crazy. I'm out of ammo anyways, yeah. Um, and we don't have enough time to reload. 
It really sucks that that's the only way to deal with this. I'm just gonna have to keep shooting and hope I can actually breach the walls. I have no other choice. Any of the walls. Anything, just to trigger that alien to uh, do something. Oh, please don't shoot my own soldiers. <laughs> That's a risk of auto shot. Uh, did you... Are well, you still alive? He wasn't hit. I don't know. I mean, he stood there and shot on the inside. Maybe these walls can only be destroyed from the inside out. Which also kind of sucks. Ah, whoops. Uh, there. I'm gonna blow up the whole harbor, aren't I? One of these straight shots are just gonna hit, uh, you know, explosive barrels or something. Or civilians. Yeah, I really think the only way to deal with that one is to stun the soldier. So stun the guy. And take a 50 point malady. Did you hit the other guy now? <laughs> no. Uh. I don't know why the hell she can see him. But she can. And that's not enough to trigger him to add into action. At this point it would be good for me if that alien woke up and decided to move. And... Uh, yeah. Can I blow up the, the, the roof? Would the roof blow up? The sides don't blow up from a grenade. Would the roof blow up from a grenade? She's the only one that can throw a grenade though because, uh, you know... Well, actually that's not true. Here you go, Boris. Teamwork. And probably the grenade to... Oh, right. Do you have 45 turns? Time units? You do. You prime the grenade. Zero turns. Throw. Uh, oh. Throw at the corner. You got a test. We got the private for one turn again. <sighs> Did not hurt the roof either, right? No. Sadly, at least there's no option. We can't get to that alien. We can't destroy the walls. My only path forward is to stun this guy. Um... Come to think of it, can I revive him? I'm not even standing on a corpse anymore. He's not there. Um, this is just me, so... 
isn't it? That won't help. No, oh, and now I'm carrying a medikit too. That is so annoying. I should not be forced to kill a civilian just to get past here. Um. Oh, I can use it. Okay, fine. So let's go there. This is the civilian body. Um, stimulants, 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 more stimulants. No, he doesn't seem to be willing to serve, to uh, recover. I mean, the alien won't move, so I might as well <laughs> do this. I'm gonna pump that uh, guy full of stimulants and see if that works. Stimulants. Come on, dude, wake up. Heals, painkillers, no, nothing works. And we don't really have a corpse there, but it counted the body. That's the weird part. It, it, it detects the body, but you can't actually do anything. Oh well. We tried. And we're gonna wait until next turn. I mean, that alien is completely paralyzed anyways. And completely invulnerable. Well, he did turn around. He just won't, won't exit the building. Still kind of sucks though, uh, so we can't revive <laughs> any civilians we stun. They count as a kill. I can use the medkit on the civilian, but I couldn't actually revive him, so that was an extra minus 50 points just because of that. I suppose we could have stepped down from the tower and tried to wait until this guy moved away from the tower, but he didn't seem willing to do that. He was moving like one square at a time, and always on the lower bases, bases lower, lower steps of the tower. So without flying suits, I couldn't really do anything there. Oh well. It's a pity. But I suppose I, I'm, I'm okay with that. I mean, we did do some, do some reload shuffling earlier, so... I'm fine with that. It makes up for it. <laughs> and we did see it save some of the civilians. But yeah, uh, us killing the civilians by accident is actually really bad. The first one was just a, a barrel that blew up. Yeah, there we go, we have some activity in New Japan. Uh, very little score. I mean, it's still just a third of the month, so... Oh yeah, uh, we lost three, three soldiers, so I have to replenish the losses. Anything else I need? Hmm, nah. Ammunition? Brighton is here now, so I can actually check. Uh, uh, rifles, headkits, yeah, we have all of that stuff. What we do need is armor. That's the sad part. Armor on the soldier that dies is removed. So we lost the armor completely. It's gone. That sucks. The other equipment we recover, but not the armor. Apparently they assume that even if uh, an XCOM soldier dies, the armor is shot to bits or something. So I need at least three more units. I need way more than that, but... Produce 16 units. We need spares as well, so... That was a really annoying part there. To lose soldiers with the uh, suits. A single shot. I was kind of hoping that we could withstand at least one shot now. 
But no. Um, sell some killman corpses. A heavy thermic lance. Really? And an MC reader. We had some uh, fancy folks on that mission. Apparently. Why well, should I research the sonic pulsar? I might have to research the Zerbite first. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, I think, next to the Zerbite. Do I wanna sell? I can sell the pistols. I'm never gonna use the pistols. Um, solid harpoon balls, we need more of those. Oh, yes. Gotta rearm our tank. 550 of those. And onwards. The Gilman Autopsy. Uh, once surgery began, it became clear that this is no alien, but an earthborn or creature, an ancient prehistoric race that was, that was thought destroyed at the very moment mammals became dominant. In the time when dinosaurs roamed, the, these creatures lived. The Gilmen, amphibious, intelligent, and strong. The cataclysm that ended the reptile rule on this planet forced these creatures into a symbiotic relationship with the newly arrived aliens. A small electronic device is lodged into the skulls of the creatures. Really? Interesting. But basically we're fighting dinosaurs. Um, now we can research the sonic pulse right away. Let's do that. Big bada boom grenades. I mean, I could have started construction of a third base too, but I don't, still don't have the money for it. I'm going to wait until April. Then we're going to start at the new base. It's going to be an interception base, I think. Where we're going to put it, I don't know yet. Because the thing is, no matter where we put it, it's not, we're not going to have it ready to go in time anyways. Anyways, research. Sonic pulsers. High explosive devices. Well, that, that's a pretty big boom. Many times more powerful, yes indeed. Sounds tasty. Um, yeah, I'm really not sure what, what to go for next. Wait, don't I have a third alien? I don't have the uh, the nav systems, do I? That's the engines, and that I have no idea what it is, actually. I don't remember what the learning arrays are. I'm trying to remember the path towards the uh, the better sonar or whatever it is. The thing that intercepts the alien signals. But I'm trying to, re trying to remember the path to the Psy training facilities. The side thing requires leaders, I think. I don't think it required. I don't think you can go with any aquanoid corpse or soldier. But you know, let's research the aliens. It's fine. Aliens first, then the Zerbite, and then probably the learning arrays, and the high beam accelerators things, the UFO parts. I mean, I could go straight for the cannons and re-equip re our squad. The problem is that we don't really have enough power clips. And the aliens are still weak enough that we can go around with rifles, I think. I think. Oh, oh, that's not good. <laughs> that is not good. It means the aliens are very active and uh, we're not doing anything to stop them. They're very active in the Sea of Africa. Well, and in America, apparently. I don't know if I approve of this. Yeah, America didn't uh, increase their funding last time. Oh. Oh dear. 
This is not good. This is really not good. I mean, if the aliens have bases here, I need to know. Um, scout over there. Yeah, just scout. Still refueling, okay. Um, I mean, seriously, let's just scout. I think it would have... The reason I'm doing that is in, ca in, is, is in case they have a base near the US. It is highly unlikely, though. We would have probably seen construction activity. But they have so much presence in the Americas that I'm kind of scared. And since we're not seeing any uh, alien craft, we might as well walk about a bit. Yeah, this is not good. This is really not good. That is good though, that you know, finally got uh, all the armor. Right, uh, grenades. Do I want to equip them with two grenades each? Would weigh them down even more. Uh, nah, not yet. Not yet. Do you want to give them armor though? I kind of need uh, one, two, three, four, seven more armor units. I need a couple more ghost rifles. In case of a base assault. Uh, not purchase, manufacture. Let's start with the, the aqua armor. build eight more. Uh, do I have enough aqua plastics for that? I have no idea. Well, they will let me know if I'm out of aqua plastics. Right, that last building is done too. Um, I, need, I need to build a new uh, general stores there to avoid the um, pay for dirt bug. Yeah, this scares the hell out of me. We're at minus 500 score. The aliens are super active in the Sea of Africa, and apparently also in the US. I don't get quite those two combined as that easily. The North Sea, the Med, it really feels like they have a base in the Americas somewhere, or close to the Americas. Which is kind of weird because, you know, we're here. And I would have thought we would have noticed if they had set up a base. Because that's usually, there's usually a hell of a lot of submarine activity before the base goes up. The only base we saw was the large battleship. Anyways, the Aquatoid. Ooh, ugly face, feller. The Aquatoid race is an ancient society having existed millennia before man's first faltering steps upon the world. Their compact form and bulbous features are a throwback to their space-faring brethren, the sectoids. Their power is based on the powerful molecular control technology. Uh, the aquatoid race seeks to propagate its sterile race by genetic modification, the ideal subjects being human beings. Experiments have spawned numerous hybrid races. Okay. You can now research alien origins, that's kinda nice. Uh... It's either that or Zerbite. You know, fine, let's go with Alien Origins.
really wonder though, where the hell can the aliens be? If they're... Oh, what was that? Well, that was a graphics glitch. The sun did just move there for a second. That's technically Canada, I think, but you know, at least in this game. Wait! What about Hawaii? I wonder, they must have a base somewhere. Because that doesn't happen without a hell of a lot of activity. But they haven't been in any sea really that adjacent to. It says Africa. Which doesn't really compute with this. And it really worries me. Oh well. I'm gonna take a break there, I think, and we'll see what, see what we're gonna do. We might have to send out the Triton to hunt for an alien base near Hawaii or something. I don't know. So, that's gonna be next time. Time for a break. Thank you for watching.